But no, nah, that was a creative way. I would like to go to that church. It's like you know, I'm like you know, I, I really that's 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 a really creative way to bring the message to people. I think more people would want to go to church if you know, you know, it, it was fighting so like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, well, anyways, we're gonna jump right into our entertainment beat. Um, I want to get on this topic. I know everybody's getting tired of hearing about it. I'm getting tired of hearing about it. So I just want to put my little uh, little chump change. No, not no chump change. I don't make chump change, but I want to put my little two cent in there. And um, talk about the whole entire Chris Brown and um, the um, and the Good Morning America um, incident. And to me, the way I feel about it is, I'm going to play a clip really quick, I'm trying to, you know, just to sum it up. But I just kind of feel that, you know, with Robin being a sister, you know what I'm saying, and she knows that Chris Brown's trying to get past that point in his life and he's trying to do better for himself, I really just feel that um, she should have left that situation alone. Because they see he's trying to do well. He's trying to get past that certain point in life where he made that mistake. And true enough, I'm not excusing what he did, but you know what? People are human beings. And, and, you know, with him being young, that's a lot of pressure for him to deal with, you know, from the media. And, you know, I'm sorry, what you say? I said everybody makes mistakes. Right. Well, we're going to go to a quick clip about that. Um, um, courtesy of Associated Press And when we come back We're going to um, Discuss this More in detail If I can find the quiz Bear with me Okay a source says Chris Brown trashed his dressing room at Good Morning America and broke a window with a chair after he was asked about his attack on Rihanna. Brown was on GMA Tuesday to promote his new album, FAME. During his interview with Robin Roberts, she asked him about the 2009 attack on his then-girlfriend. An agitated Brown tried to deflect the question and said, I'm past that in my life. Brown performed after the interview, but the store said Brown then destroyed his dressing room and used a chair to break the window. Security was called, but not police. The source was not authorized to discuss the matter. Representatives for Brown did not immediately return phone calls for comments. Brown is still on probation for his assault on Rihanna. Margie Zaraleta, The Associated Press. All right, we're back. Just wanted to play that really quick. So, DeAndre, what do you feel about that whole incident? Like, because um, I have some thoughts on that too. But I was wondering, how do you feel about the you entire know what? Inter- Excuse me, what them is? You see how they only care? They only give you they part of what they want. You know, it's always two parts to a story. So they only gonna get they half. They gonna give what they you know. They only gonna. I mean, they only gonna give his half, but they don't get they half. It mm. has to be more. Too bad than them just asking him question about Rihanna. Yeah, I understand he get, you you get a little irritated for people ask you that question that, that was you know that happened two years ago, but it was more than that for him to mm-hmm. lash out like that. It had right. to be. Well, you know, like I said, I, I you know at least Chris Brown. Held it together on air. At least, hell, you know, I'm not excusing what he's done, but hell, at least he's taking his anger out on objects instead of people this time. But see, what people need to feel, what people fail to realize is, you know, and what Chris, what he, what he needs to realize is, you know, unfortunately, with him reaching this new plateau of success, especially with his CD being number one, you know, in the charts now. He needs to realize that this this is going to be something that's going to haunt him for the rest of his life. Now, is it fair? No, but still at the same time, you need to um, to grasp that fact because you know you're now at a, a level of success that people are going to try to do anything they can do to get a rise out of you. They know you have a bad temper, and they know you're working on that. So, you know, um, were they right for asking him that? No, but Realistically speaking, he's going to have to probably deal with that for years. But you know what's really messed up is it's a double standard behind this entire situation because 
You know, when Rihanna's being interviewed, nobody really brings that up. Nobody really talks about that. And speaking of, I'm going to get on Rihanna in a minute because she, you know what, Rihanna, I'm not saying nobody deserves anything to get hit, but Rihanna talks a lot of shit. Because I heard there was a Twitter beef between her and Sierra talking about, Sierra, you don't you don't sell out no, um, you can't sell out a stage, you, you can't you can't book a stage. But girl, last time we checked, um, your album sales is kind of suffering too, boo. So you know, first of all, why you know why are you going there, girl? Because first of all, I'm not even on Rihanna like that. Hey, that's just me. I ain't hating on the girl. You do what you do, boo. But honey, first of all, I'm not on you like that. Okay, and second of all. Girl, you need to learn to keep your mouth shut because next time it was first a dude that hit you, but then next time it's gonna be a chick that look like a dude that hit you. <laughs> so, girl, I'm gonna need you to get it together. Mm-mm. That's all I got to say. Mm. <laughs> I, to me, personally, I wish they would leave Chris Brown alone because there's men out here that's in. The world, okay, you only doing him like that because he's some big superstar. But what about these men I hear that whooping these women ass that try ain't doing nothing too? Oh, y'all give them six or seven months in jail. They back out whooping her ass again, end up in killer or something. You, and y'all don't even, I mean, come on now. I mean, he done paid his debt to society. Leave that man alone. He, That's in fact, me, he, was a kid, he was a kid anyway. Does anybody yeah. happen to know if he's going to an anger management class? He definitely was going for that. They had him sign yeah, up. They, he, he, yeah, they had, he had to do all that. Up. Yeah, and my thing about it is, it's like, this, this is almost as stupid as people bringing up the whole R. Kelly thing about him pissing, like, pissing on that, on that girl. You know what I'm saying? To me, it's old news. Ain't nobody even thinking about that. And she had to bring it up. See, that's the thing. Girl, why did you bring something up that's just so two years ago, girl? That's, that is Let like that- old. Mm-hmm. Yes, that in the past, in the past, the past is the past, and let the past stay in the past. I said, girl, to me, it's almost like trying to reheat some McDonald's French fries, girl. If you don't eat them while they're fresh, then I don't want to reheat that shit up later and eat it. Sorry. Exactly. I think he did what all he needed to do to get him to his point, you know, and, and he did all those things. Whatever just asked of him, he did all that, you know, and I don't know why people keep going back there with him. You know, let's just leave him alone. Let him live his life. You know, he's still got yeah. growing to do. He ain't even that old. You know, we all make mistakes. Yeah. His mistake was, you know, he hit her. Yeah, indeed, he had to hit her that many times, but heck, you know, it happened. Yeah. Like I said, by no means are we, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not justifying what he did. But like I said, you know, it comes to a point where, you know, hey, the past is in the past. You know, I mean, it's not like he killed the girl. Ain't like he, you know, it, it, I don't know. I just, and if, I just if she feel not, that. If she not making a big fuss about it, why do y'all keep bringing it up? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She dropped the charges, so why y'all got to say something about it? Mm. Let yep. that man smoke his marijuana and leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I'm telling you. Well, I gotta Daddy. put this disclaimer. Disclaimer: In nowhere are we advocating um, drug usage, but hey, you do what you gotta do. Exactly. I might roll up one in a minute here. Now let me stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right now. I'm just All I'll right. smoke. Just kidding. <laughs> Mm-hmm. But hey, yeah, just I mean, leave him alone. He is he is trying to he didn't made a comeback. His C D is number one in the nation. Leave him alone. I mean if uh, if people are so concerned about it, why are they buy his music? I mean I will say the brother is You so far don't like it, but he's number one. Mm. Well, just just haters and he know and like I said, to me right now there's not too many uh does anybody know who it was that interviewed him? Robin yeah, it was Robin, Robin of Good Morning America. What's her name, Robin? I don't know her last name. Like, the one that looked like a damn lesbian, her. Huh? 
lesbian. Not lesbian, but lesbian. You so silly. Girl, I'm going to need you to just, like, get it together, girl, and do your job and quit agitating people. You dare to talk about the CD. Then do 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 that. Yeah. Girl, because you better yeah. be lucky. You, you better be lucky it was a window. He threw that chair and not your damn face. Mm. How about that? I'm going to need his entourage to know the questions that they're going to be asking him and, and, you know, get the answer for him if that's going to be okay for them to ask him them questions. Not her just going in asking him questions that he don't even know about. Well, I'm going to say that, you know, it probably says something to the fact that the studio didn't press charges for vandalism. Mm Mm-hmm. And they didn't, though. So, you know, because they might have thought, I mean, they probably were seeing that they were wrong for asking questions that he didn't know that they were going to ask him. Yeah. Mm Mm-hmm. He need to get a better team. I'm sorry. You know, fire him. Whoever you had, whoever had... You well, both had in charge of all that farm. Um, you know, you know that you know. There's a lot of people out there that have, like, even politicians have said they've rehearsed the questions that would be asked to them beforehand. But then they get there, and all of a sudden, whoops, they slip these in on them too. Exactly. He just gonna have. He just gonna have to learn how to just deal with it because he's gonna be face to face for the rest of his life. But I think after this incident, I don't think so many people are gonna touch that incident, that issue anymore. Because it's still sensitive, um, it's still sensitive in some areas. But I think that wasn't just the question that was asked. I think that's all they given us. But I think it was more than than that that they was asking him. Cause come on now, he just broke out a window like that because you asked him about Rihanna. It was happening mm-hmm. something else to that for him to really go crazy like that. Yeah, I, I think it was. But I seen part of the issue where he tried to deflect the the the, the, the uh, question. And she went right back to it. Like he's, you mm-hmm. know, he's just he's pretty much. Said, I'm here to promote the album. You know, I'm trying to get yeah, past that. Mm-hmm. You right because she was almost still in his spotlight by asking him questions, and he's there to promote his album. And you ask him questions, and I got to know his album. But you know, in the future he should just simply say, "I'm not going to discuss that. Can we move on?" Because if you're not going to discuss it, if I say I'm not going to discuss it, girl, we ain't going to discuss it. I don't care how many times you come back to it. Because one thing, you keep on disrespecting me, you're going to look like the fool. Because I said I'm not going to answer that. I'm not here for that. That has happened two years ago. And obviously my fans, you know, they, they have forgiven me. And, you know, we're trying to move on. We're trying to put out this real music. And he's putting out music that, you know, he's experimenting with new style. He's trying to reach a, a wide variety of people. Um, and he's just trying to do something positive. You know what I'm saying? I really like his music, um, and I really hope the best for him. You know, I, you know, I'm, 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 you know, I'm definitely in support. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm, I'm all up for someone that's trying to go in the new direction. 